Starting off today, with the LASCOC2 filter, showing solar flare activity from the 13th to 14th. Let's take a look at that on the ink filter, for a better view. Seen is a release of energy, which causes the satellite filter to glitch. A look at the same flares on the seeds filter. This is the flare from the 13th, seen on the CME model, the flare is mapped, and Mercury, satellite B along with Earth gets a dose of radiation, and solar wind. On this LASCOC3 filter, the flare from the 13th, is seen expanding out through space. Shown on this flare classification chart, there has been four C-class flares in the last 24 hours. This model shows today's solar pressure activity on the geomagnetosphere, looking at the gauge top left, the intensity was high in the red. Shown on this geomagnetic cutoff rigidity map, the transmission of charged particles, are seen in concentrated areas close to the equator. This geoelectric field is a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integrating along the conducting pathway. On this K-index chart, we see on the 12th it reached up to 6 on that day, which translate into a moderate, geomagnetic storm that day. On this coronal hole map, three coronal holes are observed on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. Coronal holes are the source of fast solar wind streams which sometimes have the potential to produce minor to moderate geomagnetic storms. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the Sun for you. <laughs> 